Hi everyone, I'm going to explain how to import Excel data in Vensim. Please note that if you are using PLE version of Vensim, you cannot use this function. So there are two ways to use this function. First, is to use Excel data as a replacement for an auxiliary or constant variable. And then the second way is to import data to make a comparison with your simulated behavior or data. So there are three steps basically. First step is, of course, to prepare an Excel file. The second step is to import Excel data. And then the third step is to direct how you want to use the data you import. Okay, let's take a look at the model. The model is quite simple. So it's just one variable, let's say A, B, C. And here, as you can see, it's just a constant variable 0.5, always 0.5, okay? So, and this is a model, quite simple. And then uh, let's take a look at the Excel file we are going to import. So the most important thing here is that a, the variable names must be the same ones as in the model. Here, since we have just one variable to import ABC, I put ABC, the same name. And also it's easy for us to use time. Well, without putting time here, you can still import, but it, it makes our life easier. So that's just put time here, okay? Now let's get back to the model. And then when you import an Excel data file, you have to close the Excel. Otherwise you will face some error message. Okay. And then go to model and then import data set. Then click on here, uh, specify the name of the file. And then here you have these settings. Well, if you take a look at, uh, closely take a look at these. So uh, that's not something complicated. So what's the range here? And then time runs um, going down or horizontal. So since uh, my Excel file is going down, so that so I choose down. And then variable variable is time. So that here time. What else? Variables start at row one. So I don't need to change it. So uh, let's click on OK. And then conversion do VDFX completed without error. So VDFX is an extension for the data. Okay. And then it's done. Then uh, let's look at my folder for this um, exercise. As you can see, we have reference VDFX. This is something we have just created. Okay. And let's get back to the model. And then we, without doing anything, so it's already, uh, I mean, the data is already there. Uh, look at the result. So as you can see, reference data is there. So the, the number I put in the model is 0.5, right? And then so by importing the Excel data, so we have this reference behavior. Now, let me show you the second way to use 
this function, which is to use these numbers as a model input. So in order to do that, so go to sim control here, and then data source, specify the data source, and then data source is reference DDFX, which we have just created, and then set. So now we set the data, and then next we need to change the equation here. So what we need to change is type. Type is data, and then subtype is normal, and then row. By clicking, by clicking on that, so VenSim automatically recognizes ABC in the Excel file should be here in ABC as a model variable here, okay? And then let's simulate. Now let's see the result. Well, uh, I, I need to um, delete this reference, otherwise you cannot see what I did. So as you can see now it's not 0.5, but the data we imported using the Excel, right? So that's how it, it works. Thank you for watching.